how your self will quote unquote reward you with a feeling of contentment and indestructibility and confidence when you are simply following your own directive. It will take away most of your fear for outcome because all it wants you to do is just be in that state of alignment. Sinya? My intention is to become unshakable in my self-trust and confidence because so far I've been kind of playing it safe by only speaking up when I'm sure it's kind of going to land and uh, I've had this um, but yeah, perfectionism, always wanting to get it right and feeling unworthy if I'm not entirely right. And so I'd, li I'd like to let go of this. And yes, as I said, become unshakable in that self-trust. Cool. What can help in, in that in particular is um, to understand that you're never right. Like if you really let that settle in, and this goes for everyone, that's why I'm, I mention it. Then it dissolves the attachment to being right because you're never right. Then it's just a matter of like, oh, do I have maybe some, some relatively accurate, relevant angle to offer something or someone? And that's really all it is. It's like, I'm just going to offer an angle. There's just, this is just one optional point of view of an infinite array of illusions interacting with itself. And I'm never right. Like, so if you eliminate the potential to ever be right, then you also eliminate the fear of being wrong. Now you're just kind of playing with perceptions and there's much greater freedom and confidence available right away. Because you're not trying to get to being right. You know, you never will be. Does that make sense? Yes, very relaxing. Exactly, right? So uh, to ultimately, when we are fully confident in whatever we're sharing, whatever the situation might be, you will know that by a sense of relaxation. And ultimately, other people, if they're sensitive enough, they will also know your confidence by your sense of relaxation. You can be in a stressful dialogue or situation, but if it's clear that you're coming from a calm, unshakable place, not trying to be right, not not being confident because you know for sure that you are correct, but just because you're confident in the love, in the universal okayness of it all, in the play of that dynamic, and you already know that it's it's arising, the chaos, the conflict appears because it wants to be resolved, and you know for sure it's going to be resolved. Like if you have that sort of natural calm and confidence, that relaxation. Now your offerings will be free of self and they will be clear. They'll lend much better and it'll ensure, it will ensure that it is about the best for everyone and it's not about you being right. Um, and therefore you'll be so relaxed because you know it's going to unfold perfectly and therefore your intuition will just kind of know what to say, when to say it, and to what degree to say it. And, and if it doesn't seem to work out, then that's still fine because then you know it was just meant to plant a seed right now. So it's phase one of the resolution. It wasn't meant to be complete right now. So there's this just universal okayness that pervades. You can be in the most like high-end, cool opportunity being a planetary council with like the top leaders in the world and you're asked to share something and you can be in total relaxation if you do not make that any more significant than a little chit-chat with your cat. So, yeah, that's what we're after is that natural confidence, which equals a relaxation that allows us to stay open to source and free of self-interest. So that's great. Uh, can you repeat for me what your desire is for your own state, your own version of self uh, in this month or so? Yes. So my desire is to become unshakable in my confidence and my self-trust. And I'd actually like to add 
also like to also be un unshakable in my um, focus on executing the mission. Because you feel currently you get distracted by ulterior false gods, like false ambition. Exactly. Yes. I tend to be scattered, like in my mind and get distracted even by little things like my phone or wanting like just personal comfort in a way to relax and not put myself out there. So you're kind of procrastinating on who you know you're here to be, no? Exactly, yes. So then your pleasure, the ple the temporary pleasure of distraction, whether it be phone or comfort or um, kind of has a buildup underneath it, no, that feels uncomfortable. Like it's okay for the first hour or two, but then like the next day and like a week after, it like just develops this sort of distorted feeling, no, discomfort. It's good. So it means you're ready. You're calling yourself back into who you really are. And um, just don't be afraid of it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do much. You just have to stop being afraid of it and letting letting it face itself in your present experience. Just whatever you know you need to do, just do that. Whatever you know you need to act on, just act on it. Don't even think about it. Just trust. Go for it. Boom. One moment at a time. One moment at a time. One thing that you know you need to do, need to do. But you know what you need to do. You always know what you sh quote unquote should be doing based on your alignment. If you just do that thing, this goes for everyone. It's so simple. You're living with honor. The consequence suddenly doesn't matter anymore. Your state of being becomes unshakable because you know that you just acted upon what you needed to do. You followed your own directive. You were in alignment with your own mission. And that's then all that matters. Ironically, when we are outside of that frequency, we fear consequence and outcome of doing things. But once we actually do the things we know we should do, then the fear for the outcome dissolves. That's one way of knowing that you're actually in alignment with your actions is that you don't, you're not afraid of the outcome anymore because all that matters is that you're in alignment with your own directive. And your higher mind knows all the probabilities and it knows why you should say that particular thing in that moment, even when you don't. It knows why that particular outcome, sometimes chaotic as it may seem, is actually the path of least resistance to the highest benefit. You don't see that with your linear mind, but you do know, based on your gut and your heart, what it is you should act on in every, any given moment. So higher self will, quote unquote, reward you with a feeling of contentment and indestructibility and confidence when you are simply following your own directive. It will take away most of your fear for outcome because all it wants you to do is just be in that state of alignment and freedom and freedom of expression and just follow the cues one moment at a time. Being in that state, your fulfillment is there and the fear for outcome dissolves. Good. All right. Wonderful.